Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil. When we last left off, we were contemplating our next steps. We literally have a handful of shotgun shells here. Uh, oh god, we had a small key. Where, ah, yeah, I know where that small key needs to be used. But, we have some options. Uh, we need to go uh, empty out the room above us. That has uh, up the elevator, yeah, where the super zombie is. We need to go do that. But we also have to come up here as well. Um, I'm hoping we can be very quick here and avoid the hunters. I'm not super hopeful, but, 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 we must remain hopeful. We must not give in to fear. Run! Okay, that's actually going to be really easy to not waste any shotgun shells here. Ah. Uh, cool. Please, can we actually profit and uh, gather some shells? That would be a lot easier. That would be really nice. Um, I can't remember what Chris finds in here. There's obviously this note uh, orders, yeah, for Wesker. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I uh, don't know where Barry finds that code either. Uh, I can't remember. That allows us to get in. Uh, there's some shotgun shells and some magnum ammo. Ooh. Well. I don't mind if I do. Uh, I'm tempted to show off a glitch as well. Um, yes, there is something useful there. You fool. There's these bad boys. We can, I believe, get unlimited magnum ammo. If we wanted to break the game. I'm going to show it off if it works in this version. However, we're not going to use it because that will make the game like kind of easy because we can literally get well I wouldn't say it'd make it easy exactly because the hunters will still try and one shot us but it will take a good degree of challenge away let's leave it like that uh, I'm going to try and show this off alright at least we don't have to fight these guys Quite happy with that. Okay, so we've got some more shotgun shells now, which is good because you know uh, we we we, <laughs> we need the shotgun shells, guys. We we need shotgun shells. We need plenty of shotgun for the green boys. Um, have you guys noticed those big green boys? Yes, yes. We need the shotgun for them. Uh, unfortunately, they don't really mind the shotgun. You know, uh, they they it tickles them. Uh, really yeah it, that's just the reality of it but the magnum does more than tickle them it it slightly irks them um mm. right i'm gonna go show off this glitch if it works in this version uh i can't remember if it does we're not gonna i kind of have to 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 do this to show it off but uh I really want to show this off because not apparently I was doing some research and not a lot of people know about this. Um, I haven't mentioned it yet because I, I thought it was like one of those commonly known things. But if we do this... Oh, I'm not sure if you can even do it as Chris, to be honest. Right, notice we have three packs of shotgun uh three packs of magnum ammo there all right we're gonna pick up two mm -hmm. all right we have two uh so you have to pick i can't remember exactly how this works now right let's leave the room and come back in now on some versions of this game it was patched i believe on the psn version and don't quote me. Um, if you have the ability, please try it. But I think it was patched. Yeah, see, look, all of the uh, all of the Magnum bullets are back now. So as long as you don't pick them all up, you can continuously mine them. Um, but obviously, we're we're not gonna cheat. We will we will leave one pack of Magnum rounds here. Uh, because there was three, so we will pick up three. Now I think only one pack regens. Yeah, see, there's one pack there. So if we leave... Now, like I say, if you pick all three packs up, 
they won't respawn. But as long as you only pick up one or maybe two, they do respawn. Yeah, see, only one does come back. I wonder, what happens if we leave and come back in again? Will the third pack have respawned? Yeah, I, I remember talking about this as a kid uh, way back when. Back in school. No, it was in college, actually. No, so, so yeah, um, <clears throat> one pack will respawn. So, you can uh, <laughs> abuse that as much as you like. So kind of an interesting glitch if you ask me and very surprised not many people know about that i thought that because because when uh especially in college when we started playing a lot of this um like when we were quite yeah you know, i don't know i suppose 18 ish 19 ish uh and we was getting back into our quote retro games which the playstation wasn't really that old back then but hmm. Um, yeah, we we did use that quite a bit. Uh, from what I can remember, anyway, I'm sure we did. Uh, I know I've used that before. Because I thought it was a bullshit. But it is not. Uh, not in every version of the game. Or so I have recently read. Um, but yeah, uh, interesting glitch there. Right, let's go. So we have some shells. Let's go. Oh, what we could do, actually, and I know we're farting and spiffing about, but what we could do, because I don't think where we're going has any hunters. Let's grab the Beretta, because we have basically cleared the way. Um, not sure if we, we want the Beretta for the lab. I mean, yes, kind of we do. But... Uh, I, I'm I'm in that awkward phase with Chris because I haven't played as Chris for so many years, and my memory of the lab is quite fresh. But my memory of Chris's playthrough, although I did watch Jimmy's playthrough, is not super fresh in my mind. But eek. I'm surprised we haven't died more. I will say that. Uh, as Jill, we died a lot, but then she's weaker. But the game definitely feels harder as Chris. It really does. That's not just me, you know, exaggerating. It really does because you just don't have the ammo. And that, that glitch does work for Jill as well. Uh, obviously, it's, it's exactly the same uh, principle. Because I use it as Jill a lot. <laughs> not really as Chris because I never really play as Chris. Because I never liked the six slots. That literally stopped me from playing the game uh, as him. So, yeah. There's zombie. They look fucking menacing, don't they? They look good, man. This is an early PlayStation. Well, yeah, this is an early PlayStation 1 game. And those zombies look grisly. Resident Evil zombies have always been good. They're my favorite uh, Resident Evil zombies. They really are. Wasn't he hugely uh, a fan of the Last Plaga zombies uh, from 4, 5, and, 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 well, they weren't really Last Plaga in 6, but they didn't really feel as good. I mean, they were fine. There's nothing wrong with them. They were okay. It was a natural progression, but I just straight up preferred. Now, I know we milked this dry, but I want to make sure... I do straight up prefer uh, uh, the zombies. I always said that they could make them uh, work in a modern game. And 2 and 3 proves that they can. Now, I hope you can't hear my fan. Uh, I do have my tower fan on. It's on the lowest setting and it's quite far away. But it is bollock hot in here. I don't know what bollock hot means. You just have to, just have to nod and agree. Um, uh, we don't have to... Bloody small key either. Fuck. <sighs> we don't have the small key. One second, guys. And we're back, guys. Okay. Uh, right. Let's bust this open. I can't remember what's in it. I'm hoping it... I think it's Magnum Ammo. It is Magnum Ammo. I know, it's either Magnum Ammo or Shotgun Ammo. That's fine. So we're actually getting a nice little stack of mag ammo now, which is cool. Uh, now we've got a zombie. 
Ooh, that was nice. That was very, very, very nice. Okay, now, I can't remember if there's two or three zombies in here. If there's... Ooh, fuck. Yeah. Um, is there any more? Yeah, there is another one in that. Okay. Okay. Probably need to drop him too, then. Come on. Because we can leave one. We can definitely leave one. Come on. There we go. But yeah, two's going to be kind of tricky to avoid. Um, now, there is that file. There, but... We don't really need that file. Now, there should be a hanger magazine in here. Do we need the file? I can't remember. Uh, there's nothing under that file, is there? Yeah, so we've got ink ribbons there, and there's a handgun mag. Oh, this is where the battery is as well. I remember. Do we want the ink ribbons? <sighs> yes, I guess we'll have the ink ribbons because uh, it's only going to get harder. No, it's not. It's actually going to maintain its difficulty for a little bit longer um, and then it's kind of like when we get to the lab it will get easier uh, no birds no birds breaking out on us this time interesting um, and I don't know why the birds aren't breaking out maybe we have to get close I don't know there's that zombie if we can lure him out I suppose for the sake of completionism uh, we can, yeah, we'll grab the file, sure. Come on, you brain munching bastard. Come yeah, on. Good boy. Good boy. Yes. Yes, there we go. Uh, go on. Go on. We lamb. We lamb. Just because we can, I suppose. Scrapbook. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, right. Now, let's get the frick out of here. Why is my phone going off? Why? It is Twitter. I've never used Twitter anymore. You know, I don't really use social media at all. Um, I should. I I should, but I, I don't know. I'm. What do I ever post? What do you say? Like, I feel like I have nothing interesting to say. Like, I mean, what do I? Ah, oh, no, fuck that up. Uh, do you post about? Uh, you know, when you've taken a shit. I, I don't know. Um, I'm very introverted as well, like really introverted. I find talking to people and stuff very difficult because I just generally don't know really what to say half the time. Uh, but that's why I've kind of got the Discord, our Discord if you fancy checking that out. I mean, we're fairly active on there pretty much every day. Uh, shameless plug. I do try to be active on social media but I just forget about it to be honest most of the time and I'll log on and I'll have like a couple of messages from people that was like months ago and then I'm like do I even reply to these because they've probably forgotten they've even sent them now okay doom book yes so that was quite good we actually had enough item slots to pick up everything now I know some people uh at one point, I was utterly addicted to Facebook. Boomer book. Um, I used to use it all the time for every. I used to post fucking everything on there. Like, ridiculous amounts of stuff. Like, pictures and all this shit. Um, it was too much. I would find myself bored in bed. Uh, at the height of my depression. And I'd just scroll Facebook all fucking day. And I, I try. I, like, broke myself off it. I thought, this is not good. This is so bad for you uh, and ever since then I just yeah I had kind of like a mental block with, with social media I generally think it's bad for you I really do right let's go let's get the fuck out of here okay now so the Discord is like the best way, really, uh, of keeping up to date with news and stuff. And that's the other thing as well. Like, 
you know, when you're picking so social media, what do you do? Do you do the Instagram? Do you do Facebook? Do you do fucking uh, um, Twitter? There's so many of them, and you got to manage each one. Of them. Fuck that noise, man. Ugh. It's too much. Right, let's go. So, we've pretty much loaded with everything we need now. So, we've got the battery. We've just got to go back outside. Um, what's the easiest and best way back outside? I suppose up and around. Uh, I guess. Up there is now Hunter's. Do we have spiders now? In the opposite hallway. We probably do, don't we? Um, yeah, through here. I suppose we're going to go through here anyway. And then we have to go down. Down, down, deeper and down. Right, okay. This, hopefully, we can just charge past. And then there's one hunter. Yeah, I can hear the spiders. Eh, that's fine. That's fine. Um, I don't know if spiders are always here or if it's just on this mode. I'm not really sure, to be honest. This is the safest route back, though. There's one hunter in this corridor, but... Uh, in the words of Jesus himself, fuck that guy. Because we can just easily run past him. He doesn't really care too much. And uh, now we're done with the mansion. So, let's have a little jiggle of our junk. And think about what we need. And do we want to put down a safety save? Probably not. I don't think we need to. We haven't really accomplished that much. It feels like we have. We've literally filled out the last few doors in the mansion. Um, let's have a little look. Uh... Also, uh, last night I did, uh, it's probably not going to mean anything to anyone that's watching this, but last night I did have a test stream on YouTube. I will be streaming on YouTube from now on because Twitch fucked me really bad. So fuck Twitch. Um, and it worked really well. Everything was fine. It was good. Much fun was had by all. Uh, even though this video is probably going to go up in like <laughs> like five days after uh, after the stream, but I need to sort out three day uh, two days a week. Two days is doable. Two days is doable. I think two days is doable, where I can uh, stream. Uh, obviously, my missus has chronic migraines, uh, which makes things difficult. Um, but. I'm pretty sure we can work something out. Right, so we have... Uh-huh. So we've got nearly 40 handgun bullets, which actually sounds really good. Uh, it sounds a lot better than it actually is. We've got Black Tiger coming up again, but we don't need to worry too much about Black Tiger. Um, not sure. Again, just like in Jimmy's playthrough, we... No, we did technically have to save Rebecca, but she wasn't in the library. I've never seen her get injured there. Have I? Oh, man, it's so hard to try and think back. I don't know. I, she's always been upstairs in the library. So, somehow we got some... Oh, oh yep. Yeah, out. And we always run towards the claws because... Because we're stupid. And we're old and we don't learn things, even though these are things that we learnt back in the day. Now, when we do uh, Jill's playthrough, again, after we finish this, uh, and we're going to do it again on a range mode, but with the double ammo. Just a, a fun run. I might stream that, actually. Um, ooh, the dogs are gone. So yeah, you don't have to fight the dogs here. Are the dogs going to be gone downstairs, I wonder. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, when we do the fun run, I do want to take an alternate path with Jill. Because there is an alternate set of dialogue 
with Baza. Um, right, we don't want to twizzle that yet. And it's one that not a lot of people... A lot... Oh, that's not true. Most people know about the alternate path. Um, or at least a good percentage of people know. But then I thought I know these games fairly well. Um, but I, I've definitely seen new things. I've definitely seen new things on this playthrough that I haven't seen before. And that's made it really fun and really exciting. Because it's nice when you play a game that you, you feel fairly familiar with. Um, and then you find new stuff. It's really cool. It's really exciting. Ah, uh, the dogs are still here. Ah, uh, fuck the dogs. We shouldn't worry too much about the dogs if we could do this quick enough. Fuck you, dogs! Oh, the dog's gonna be... Right, well, we don't actually have to come back out here again. Let's have a health check. Oh, I should have brought health with me, really, but... I didn't think. I don't think. Thinking is for smart people. I don't brain good. Right, we're on yellow fine, which... Uh, that's fine, I suppose. Yellow fine is fine. Um, yeah. For Chris, yellow fine is not too bad. For Jill, yellow fine is really quite bad. <laughs> Anything apart from fine with Jill is, uh, is dodgy. On a bit of an update as well, we've had a pigeon randomly living in our back garden for a few days. Um, and we've been looking after him, feeding him oats. Uh, it can't appear to fly, which is weird. He's been there for about two, three days. Um, or she, whatever. Um, and we've been feeding him oats, porridge oats, and water. Uh, unfortunately, I went out there this morning and the poor fellow had passed. It was a bit of a shame. Uh, I, I thought it wasn't going to be good because, you know, he wasn't flying. A uh, pigeon that can't fly is probably sick, <laughs> at least. But, who, you know, who do you call? Especially now. Like, the RSPCA won't do anything about for a pigeon. Um, mm, yes. I don't like to see animals pass on, but there we go. The rainbow bridge awaits. Yes, I was liking the idea of having uh, a pigeon. We'd even named him as well. He was Grandmaster Feathers. Oh, fuck you! Remember your training, Chris! I Oh, shit! We really should have the shotgun. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Yes, we should probably have the shotgun. And by probably, we should have the shotgun. Fuck. Did I do that? Did I really just come down here with a pistol? Do we commit to this run or do we go back and get the shotgun? Because if we can avoid these these guys, we will avoid them. Oh. Let's commit. Let's commit. I mean, we get the flamethrower, I suppose, but... Uh, uh, no, not yet, because if we use the flamethrower, uh, if we use the flamethrower, that locks that door. I'm pretty sure it does. I don't know how good the flamethrower is on the hunters. Yawn. We'll take it. I really don't know how good the flamer is on the hunters. Uh, I'm going to say probably not very good at all. Is that fair? I think that's fair. Definitely think it's fair to say this flamethrower is pretty rubbish. And I also think I've gone the wrong way. I think we should have gone the other way first. No. No, I think we're okay. We've got an F8 spray and some shotgun shells. Oh, God. We're, like, really out of space already. 
Uh, yeah, we might actually have to go back because I've really bungled this. Damn it! Titan, you fool. Yeah, really bungled this up. Um... We don't, don't think we get an item box for a little while. I mean, well, technically we get an item box really close, uh, but we've got green boys to deal with. Can we run past the green boys? Probably with the ammo that we have. Yeah, so this is the trigger point for the green boys. Oh, we can't even pick the crank up. Yep, yep, we, we have to go back. We have to. I keep thinking I'm hearing the door. I've got a Wii U Pro Controller coming. One second, guys. Okay, uh, that was not the postie, sadly. And looking at the time now, it, oh, it's probably going to be here tomorrow. I buy a lot of stuff from a place called CEX. Uh, they're really good for getting retro stuff, and they're also really good for um, buying uh, mint games as well. And some of them are pricey, but a lot of them aren't too bad. Um, but it has kind of, let's put the flamethrower back. It has kind of, um, well, since this lockdown's happened, the prices of things have skyrocketed. For instance, you used to be able to get a, a Nintendo Wii original, not a Wii U. Nintendo Wii for about um, 20 quid. In fact, in a lot of the local shops around here, you can probably pick them up for about 15 quid complete. Um, now they're about 80, 90 because and everyone's like oh why is everything so expensive it's like well supply and demand at the moment uh oh the dogs are gone oh cool yeah i mean it's just it sucks but it is just supply and demand uh everybody's buying up all the gaming gear because everyone's stuck at home and no one's trading the gaming gear into the shops because nobody can go out to the shops and trade stuff in so stock is limited But um, the thing that really annoys me about CEX is when you buy something on their website, sometimes you have to wait two weeks for it. And that seems to be a little bit ridiculous. I mean, most of the time it's a couple of days. But um, yeah, it's just ugh, waiting, waiting, waiting. I really want um, my control pad. <laughs> I really want my control pad. Oh, the green boy's still here. I did wonder if he was still going to be there. I mean, in an ideal world, we never would have had to have gone past him again, but we fucked it. We done fucked it up. Yeah, so, um, I mean, Wii U stuff is really holding its value. Now, if you want a, a console that's kind of okay at the moment, right now, apart from maybe leave it a few months till lockdown's over, start collecting for Wii U, because there's not many games available, there's not many accessories available. And it's a really fucking cool system with some good games. Um, and it's just like a really nice little collectible system. And, well, it's Nintendo. So Nintendo is the one company that you can guarantee that the value will go up. Now, I don't collect games to hoard them to sell them uh, at a later date. I collect them because I want them and I, I use them and I play them. Um, but yeah, the Wii U is, is a very good system to jump on at the moment. 26 shells. Okay. It's definitely a little bit better than it was. We shall eat a herb to bring us back up to fine. I kind of like the idea of having a full heal on us. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah. We're gonna we 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 are going to want a heal on us. 
Um, oh, we're on half an hour already, guys. I might actually go in here and save it. Shit. Yeah, because by the time we go back down there, do a load of stuff. Should we continue? Nah, we better save it here, guys. Uh, I know we're racking up the saves, but, you know, that's just the way it is. Um, how many ribbons do we have? Is that literally it? Ah, uh, we got more. I was going to say, there's no way. There we are. We have seven left, and we're going to get some more downstairs, and we're going to get some more in the lab, so we have plenty of ribbons. So, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and as always, till next time.